Hey guys, I'm just uh, going to do a quick direct upload to show what movies I got during the Criterion sale. Uh, this is my tan chair, a minute, even though I moved the camera over here. Okay. Sorry, there's a lot. Um, I got three the first day of the sale, and those three were Bottle Rocket, Harold and Maud, and Certified Copy. Um, out of these three, Harold and Maude is probably my favorite, considering it's probably one of my favorite movies, and it's just an awesome release, and I listened to the whole commentary already. Certified Copy is a movie that, like, everyone should really check out. It's just wonderful. It's, like, hard to explain. I can't really explain, like, how it is. You just have to see it. And Bottle Rocket, I think most people probably... Like, this is possibly the most popular movie that out of these three that I got. And of course it has, as, as all the Wes Anderson movies do, it has tons of special features and stuff. And then next I got um, Ingmar Bergman's Summer with Monica. I did not get Summer with Interlude. Summer Interlude. I've seen Summer Interlude. These are like his two like summer doomed romance movies, pretty much. Which I find it's weird that it has it's like all yellowy and stuff. And the inside is like all yellow. I don't know, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, not as good as, like, Fanny Alexander, duh. I don't know, someone probably thinks it is. Next, I got two films by Vin Vendors. And, well, there's only two films by Vin Vendors actually on the collection. There's three on Hulu, but two in the collection. And those are Wings of Desire and Paris, Texas. I like Paris, Texas a lot more. I just, like, Wings of Desire is, like, really, like, it's really good. It's really dreamy and stuff. Very good, like, showing all the different people in the city and what they think. But some, like, I don't know, it's probably a little too long. But then again, Paris, Texas is longer, and it's just the right amount of time. You just, this is just, I think it has a lot to do with the writing, too, by um, Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard, right? I'm a, yeah, Sam Shepard. It's just amazing, and Harry Dean, Harry Dean Stanton is amazing in this. So, check out Paris, Texas. Next is two um, interesting films by a director named Whit, <coughs> Whit Stillman. Uh, Metropolitan and Last Day's Disco. I like both of them. I kind of like Metropolitan a little more. Uh, the dialogue is just amazing, and, and it also has some good performances. But Last Day's of Disco has better special features on it than Metropolitan. But they both have a commentary, which is a big plus. Another thing I really don't like about these releases is that their booklets are both, like, tiny. Like, really? And there's not that much artwork inside, really. I don't think there's anything behind the disc here. No. Behind the disc and Last Day of the Disco, there's, like, three stars or something. It's kind of like, um, Behind the Disc and the Seventh, uh, Seventh Seal. It's another small booklet. Next, I got two. I got these two today. And first, I got a uh, Mikhail Kalatozov's Letter Never Sent, which is a visually stunning film. And uh, it's a it's a bare bones release. But then again, the booklet is bigger than the booklet for Last Day of the Disco and Metropolitan. It's a big booklet. It has this nice art inside and stuff. And it's just like. This is a film that's really worth it to own on Blu-ray because it's so visually stunning. I got one more thing today. Uh, not too big. Just kidding. It's David Lynn directs Noel Coward. I just kind of just said, what the heck? I'll get it. I was going to get it eventually. I love Criterion Blu-ray box sets. Like, I like the box sets for the Blu-ray box sets especially. I've only seen one. I've seen Brief Encounter. So, I guess I have to see the other ones. Uh, Brief Encounter, In Which We Serve, The Happy Breed, This Happy Breed, sorry, Blythe Spirit, and Brief Encounter. Very ironic, Brief Encounter is actually spine number 75, 76 in here, which is a little interesting considering that it's actually the, the, um, the last chronological one, so it's like the last one in the set, but it's the, f but it's the first spine number. And this is spine number 603. In my opinion, they probably should have made this 600. It's kind of a more substantial release than Anatomy of a Murder. Just move some stuff around.
But here it is. It's beautiful, beautiful art. Oh, I like that they have art inside their boxes. Like the Criterion always does that. It's unbelievable that they have like art inside the box. Like who looks inside the box? No other studio would do like crazy stuff like that. Okay, well, see ya around. This was just a quick update. Like seeing all the hauls. I didn't really do a haul because I got most of these like early in the sale. But see you around.